Fafai said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and I made out with a rose bush. But this isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. Look, right now, I can maybe remember 20 full days of my whole entire life. So I can't really say with absolute certainty I didn't purposely run over a giraffe at some point. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating! The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen! Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, Can I get a witness? Yes. This is wrong. Way wrong. And... And there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Or they won't, and this is our new existence. <sighs> wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment. Where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? Uh, what? Jimmy who? Okay, well, judging by your complexion, you're probably not the plantation owner who was drowned by his kids, so. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey, hey kids. Hey, you wanna buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay, Marcy Sullivan, Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes, here, here. Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now, Lola, Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, sorry, but uh, what? what is all this for? Please hold all stupid questions and dumb comments till after this part so I don't have to deal with it. Thank you. This... okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Table two, okay, that's, this must be us. You know, it's funny, I, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just, I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my God, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This, this is insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. 
Hi guys, I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we there has there's been a mistake. We don't we don't even know why or how we died, so Yeah, you know how when you're a kid you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair. So, okay, so do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder-suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag-team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola. Which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have, that's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh, round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Oh, wedding. Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like, breaking bones? Ho, 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 what could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow. The sultan of revulsion. The drain on your brain. That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you. With anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team. A real partnership. I want you to know that... Oh, crap. There's two of you? I... I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. Let, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. You're hungry, I'm hungry, you're sad, I'm... I mean, that means I'm doing my job. <laughs> Jump in, Christ. What is... Where, what are... Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours. Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. 
Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that, that bitch still says she's 39. Office hours? Do we, do people get, like, time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for 10 hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day, you'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham? Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Oh my god, Milo, she's... Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. Okay, this is, we gotta get out of here. Well, uh, what the hell do you think we can even... Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... <laughs> For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. We're, um... Sorry? We didn't know we were supposed to tell you anything. We just, we just got here. I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Yeah, you, you got it. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, honestly, just like, just anywhere but here, for starters. I like the low expectations. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo, Miss Lola, I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? You get the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Perfectly safe, don't worry. Has a floor for your feet and seats for your ass. Every, uh, everything a vehicular transport would need. Oh, okay, it's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your end. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell and provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. Huh, I thought the River Styx was a myth, like cat outfits that they actually enjoy wearing. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. 
Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first in Izzard. Hey! Hey! Sam! Sam! What? Did you... did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first in Izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. First in Izzard? Why is it called first in Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the fifth circle. Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney! Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's. Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. But, sir, we really need to talk to our friend. It's urgent. Well, you have any other part of forever to sort you out. Talk to her then. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get a... him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. 
Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. What's uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. <laughs> oh God, too bitter. Hey, uh, Tommy, or uh, Thomas. I I should probably. Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How are you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? Oh, it's still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are! Jim Jum! <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? At night? <laughs> yeah. Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should, we're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a uh, squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Amathian sounds pretty cool. A great Amathian. All right. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the human? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a joke, and people understand that. Most. 
And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, the uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not gonna get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it serious? I was six! Yeah, I do work here, buddy, so it's therapy time, or I'm tossing you out on your ass. Now, what's the issue? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steam because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, you can only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. I'm happy to see you, man. I don't know you, man. Jesus, what a scary motherfucker. And I thought the shapes my slinky made were off Yeah, you don't mess with a boy's childhood like that. I mean, do, do you even like Norman Rockwell? Hey, it was a goof! It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad! Hey, if I have to warn you one more time... I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution, because no one would believe me! I still can't take a piss without carrying a spork for protection! Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. Boy, this cavalier attitude towards your PTSD must make you pretty fucking mad, right? It's nothing worth getting angry about. I just fooled you for nine straight months, that's all. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that! Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll <laughs> be dirty! Hey, Van Dyke. Where's, uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. Uh, not that this isn't probably obvious, but what's a death? A death day? Yeah, words can be confusing. This is Tommy's first year in hell. We like to kind of go full helicopter mom for the paper anniversary. Don't ask me why. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Hey, thanks for, for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. Feels a lot shorter and longer, you know? Oh, definitely. Was a uh, companion study will make it? It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Ugh, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. 
You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins and God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Oh, so hell's terrible. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. How uh, long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think that's... Yeah, that would make a good CBS sitcom. Well, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but... I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fare? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell, the first circle, mind you, so... It's not that bad. Hey! But still, my she was sponsors, sent there because she wore gold most of her life. The guy that thinks no one ever cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh-huh, and uh, what does that mean again exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T to the best of my ability, of course. <laughs> I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Correa Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, the plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing, like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. How, how am I supposed to work with that? It's your job, Mary. More than your job, it's like the entire reason you have thumbs. Can't you just, like, leave us alone? Go play a round of hell golf. Take the, take the day off. Can you take the day off from having to go to the bathroom? Then no, I can't take the day off. Well, actually, some days I don't go at all, so... Anyways... I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds. Like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever. I'll look at my notes. Bye! Anyway, my ride's just up here.
All right, Saints place.